And the governor says the computer that was supposed to be a big draw for New Mexico has been a big flop, costing taxpayers more than $20 million. So what are we supposed to do with it now? Good afternoon, I'm Kim Baez. That supercomputer was once the third fastest in the world. But instead of bringing in high-tech jobs, it's brought a big bill for taxpayers. And now the state wants out. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is in the Newsplex with the story. The computer is called Encanto, and it's housed at Intel. The Richardson administration promised it would attract businesses to New Mexico. But in February 2011, News 13 investigative reporter Larry Barker discovered that simply hadn't happened. We're bringing jobs to the state that wouldn't have been here without the computing center. Can you point to a single business that has moved here to New Mexico because of the supercomputer? At present, no. Since then, things have gone from bad to worse. Intel is no longer willing to house the room sized supercomputer, and the group responsible for managing Encanto is behind on maintenance and service bills. State Technology Secretary Daryl Ackley says the supercomputer is functional, but in serious need of upkeep. An audit found that the program has no revenue coming in and is running a massive deficit. Nearly $20 million in tax dollars has already been spent on the project, and taxpayers may be on the hook for at least another million and a half. Now the state has taken over management of Encanto and is trying to stop the bleeding by getting the supercomputer off the books. We have to figure out, are we going to sell it as a whole? Or are we going to sell it in pieces, um, maybe to the universities? Uh, but it's not making any money. At this point, it appears selling the supercomputer off in pieces is the likeliest path forward. What's not clear is how much that could bring in. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Alex. Now, although Encanto started out as the third fastest supercomputer in the world, it is now ranked 128th.